Okay, so I did the first step with the Starbucks, and now I want to try with the Good Brothers. It's a decaf blend, but same amount of grounds, which was 20 grams. And instead of doing this in segments, I'm really going to try to do all this in one full step because the Starbucks I had to do in parts just because I've not done this before, so the steps were a little different for me to learn. But I think I can remember. We are going to add 100 mils of water to these grounds. And this time, I'm not going to use that smaller sock because it really had a hard time getting the coffee to go through. And I've actually soaked this one pretty long, so I'm hoping since it's been in the water a little while. It's not as thick as that other sock either, I don't think, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> so let me pour this water out and we will do the three minutes and go from there. All right, so first is to set 100 mils in here. So let me turn this on and tear it. I don't want you to see my back, so I apologize for that all the time. <laughs> So now we're at zero, so let's add the 100 mil of water. There we go. That's 100. Give it a stir for about 10, 15 seconds. Start my timer. For three minutes, it said. We'll let that sit there for three minutes about this for a minute here. This was the first cup, it's still, still pretty warm, even with the, I did the Americana style with the Starbucks. And I did try to uh, froth the evaporated milk with this. It makes a nice cup. I mean, I would probably, with the Starbucks anyways, have to add either my um, Tirani's syrup or something just to give it some flavor because it's just kind of a bland, bland cup. So the next attempt will be, well, I know it's going to be different because this sweetener is condensed milk. So it's pretty much pure sugar. <laughs> it does say cane sugar on it though. <laughs> so if, if you want that flavor in your coffee, but I will taste it without it. So yeah, that was about a minute so far. And the only thing I didn't understand about the instructions the first time was it said to pour several times so to pour once you get the liquid out of here into the sock do you i don't not sure how you would pour several times into the same sock because once the liquid goes through into this do you pour this back into the sock i think is what it meant but i just was a little confused about that so I'm curious what Good Brothers would taste like compared. So we were going on one minute, 50 seconds. So I'll stir it again and make sure that the grounds don't settle in the bottom so that I can get it all into the sock. And we'll see how quickly it comes out of there. But this is kind of enjoyable to know the process. So that's the two minute mark. So we'll give it another minute do that. I do appreciate Thomas and Jamin and all those that were involved in getting everybody these socks because it is a, it's kind of fun to compare and see what other people find with how they do it and everybody's tastes are different so it's just very interesting to compare like that and I'm just loving the community itself. It's, it's just fun to hear everybody's experiences with their coffee. <laughs> And of course, in all parts of the world, we've got Singapore and we've got Australia and of course the States and Canada. So it's just been fun, guys, and I'm really enjoying it. And thank you all for being a part of it. All right, we are there. So we're going to stir it one more time, it said. Make sure nothing's sticking at the bottom. Just a little bit up here. All right, here we go. Let's see how quickly this one comes through. <laughs> All right. Yeah, some of the grounds did stay in the bottom. But it 
did come through a lot quicker than that first sock. I'm not sure. Maybe they're made out of different cloth. I guess what I could do. Maybe this is what you're supposed to do. Once it stops dripping too much, you can come over. But then, see if I put this in here and pour that back in there, it's just going to go into all those grounds. So that's really not going to work. It's just going to be a one pour for me, I guess. <laughs> Until somebody explains to me what I'm doing wrong. But yeah, it's coming through nicely. This actually has not quite as dark of a color. I don't know if you can see that first one I had was, this has got like a golden color to it. And it went through a lot faster. And I did soak it, but a little longer than I soaked the other one. So that could be the issue. So we're going to do that. Heated my cup up over here. I'm going to pull this down in here. Could actually do that. It'll be okay. Alright, pull this in here and give it a taste. I guess the more I do this, the, the steps kind of get in your head what needs to be done. It's a nice looking cup. I don't know if you can see that. Go ahead and let me taste here. Cheers. Definitely a difference from Starbucks. <laughs> it's more, I mean, the first taste when it hit my mouth, Starbucks was just kind of, I want to say flat, but dark and flat. This has a, it is a decaf though, so it's not, I want to say sour, but almost tea-like flavor to it. You can actually, there's, there's a flavor to it. Um, where did I put the bag? Oh, it's right here. It's a Columbia decaf, and the notes say honey, black cherry, and sugar cane. So maybe it's the cherry that I'm tasting. It's not really a flavor cherry, but when I say sour, it, you've got a fruity kind of flavor to it. Not bad. I mean, I could, I could drink this any day over Starbucks, but I am a sweet kind of a person, whereas I need some kind of syrup. So I am going to try this sweet and condensed. Not much though. <laughs> so it is pretty thick. I don't even know if it's going to come out of the can. There it comes. Maybe a teaspoon. Ooh. And I don't have to have cream with my sugar. This has to be coffee and a little sweetener. And let's see what that tastes like. I would probably do this more of an Americano style, like um, Hoon does a lot. I've not really done it before trying this, so it, I, I kind of might would do it with a pour over more. Oh, yeah. And there, I, I'm learning the tea flavors that everybody's saying how things are more tasting like teas especially when you're doing the, the pour overs so it doesn't always have to be that rich thick flavor for me so I do appreciate the differences that I'm getting of course comparing this with maybe a regular Good Brothers might be interesting too to see if I taste any differences in the tasting notes between those two but whenever I have Starbucks it just tastes really dark and strong to me so that's really all I taste <laughs> but I can tell the difference definitely between Starbucks and Good Brothers with these two socks that I did if I did it correctly so just curious and look forward to hearing everybody's comments and how they think I did and what I did wrong because <laughs> I know there was some issues with not being able to transfer it a couple times so I look forward to hearing what everyone experiences with theirs as well. So thanks again. Bye.